YouTube channel guys this is the fine black girl my name is Brittany and today's video I'm pretty much going to try my best to do a talk through video y'all know I do not do talk through videos and even when I record a talk through video it still ends up being a voiceover video because I just cannot talk like I cannot talk and then like when I edit the video I don't want the video to be super extra long and it's just like girl like who's gonna watch this nobody so anyway um if you are new to my channel go ahead and click that subscribe button um thank you guys for watching thank you guys for sticking with me even though i have not been here in a long time but since today is a talk through video we're gonna talk about that so let's get started so y'all already know <laughs> i already did my eyebrows um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. Just you guys are new to this channel. If you guys are new to this channel, um, yeah, Anastasia Beverly Hills are on my brows. And today, primer. I'm gonna start with the Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Paint Pot from Mac. Um, I I don't even know how I got started on this. Um paint pot thing but you know i really can't complain because i like it and it's the bomb and i've been having the biggest trouble with trying to get eye, uh, eyeshadow to be popping like i'll be having these vibrant um these vibrant palettes and the eyeshadow does not come vibrant on my eyelids i think i'm gonna do a cut crease today because that's all that i'm really good at to do cut crease and i enjoy doing cut creases like now that i know how to do cut creases i'm not gonna stop so it's like i'm going to go into this morph uh 35b palette y'all know i'm brand new <clears throat> brand new i'm late as hell when it comes to these palettes y'all did not put me on to this palette like i'm just now learning about the paint pot and this palette and like i just feel bamboozled because nobody told me about it like this is the tea and nobody gave me that like come on i think i'm going to go when i might start with this color as my uh transition color and my crease Next, I'm going to use this color right here. It's a dark purple, and it's going to be in my crease. Alright, so now I'm going to go back with the paint pot and it's a soft ochre once again and I'm just going to cut my crease. Once again, if you guys are new to my channel and you haven't seen me do a cut crease before, I do have hooded lids so I can't do a regular cut crease. Um, make sure if you have hooded lids, you always cut the crease above your actual crease. That way, the lid color will actually be seen. You feel me? If you don't feel me, just watch. I'm going to go back with that dark purple color and I'm just going to pretty much outline the, the cut crease. But not too much, you know, because it kind of gets lost when you actually cut the crease. Mm -hmm. 
Now I think I'm going to go in with this yellow color right here. I love me a yellow eyelid, okay? Like, I just be coming up with these colors at the top of my head and I just be like, all right, go. And sometimes they work and sometimes they don't, but we'll see. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Revlon Color Stay Skinny and I'm just going to apply it to my um, eyelid. So, um, I have been watching The Four lately, and if you guys have never seen The Four, The Four basically is kind of like American Idol, but it's a competition. And there's four, um, regular, regular, schmegular, um, people who want to be famous, they want to be artists, they want to be singers, rappers, whatever. And they are the original four. They have their chairs and people will come and they will uh, basically audition for the judges. The judges being Diddy, uh, Megan Trainer, and DJ Khaled. And they'll vote. If that person gets to challenge one of the four and pretty much the challenge is the four, one of the four, whoever gets picked, will sing their song or rap or whatever, and then the challenger will sing or rap or whatever, and the audience will go and judge and I guess pick who is the best out of them. I'm going to be using my favorite mascara, and this is their real. I would zoom in more, but I feel like. This look looks so much better when it's like. Yeah. Anyway, so um, the audience chooses which one won that challenge, and then if that person, if the challenger won, they get to take that person's seat from the four. If the original person from the four won, they get to keep their seat pretty much. So I like this show. I started binge watching it yesterday and or the day before yesterday and I just I really like it but I feel like they're so biased on there like they'll say oh you gotta do this you gotta do that and then somebody else will come and they don't do it and they don't be like oh my god yes that's what I was talking about and it's like wait like you just said that this person had to do this but you saying this person gotta be like I want to know what the criteria for them when they're judging is because it's like you got like the 60 year old girl came on there. I'm pretty sure it's season two and she was so good at singing and they sent her home and I just don't know why. I don't know why. Like they got a girl up there. Uh, they had a girl up there. Her voice is average. You know, I'm not going to talk smack because maybe one day I'll be on the show you know I'll be singing a little bit nah but her voice is kind of average like it's nothing to woo me away personally and a 16 year old girl did way better than her but they sent her home so mm. I think it's a good show though so now huh these are lashes from um, Miss A if you guys don't know what Miss A is I will link that website in the description box okay so now we are going to go ahead and do our face and first I'm going to prime it with this this is the best primer in the world like if you're not on this wave honey what you doing this primer right here this Becca primer Major key alert, major key alert. 
I look like a crackhead because my face is like this white. But it's really the primer. I love this primer. Anyway, what was I talking about before my camera died on me? Um, I'm going to use this. This is Lancome Tint Idol. I don't know how to say it correctly. And it's the color or the shape of uh, 555. I went to Ibiza and I went on a speedboat ride. And this is one of the um, beauty blenders from Miss A. Super soft, super effective. I love it. Cheap as hell. Better than real techniques, in my opinion, you know. So, um, went to Ibiza. Went on a speedboat. Went to a cliff. I jumped from a cliff into the water and my face was still up there. More 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 than anything my eyeshadow, but my eyebrows and my eyeshadow was still here, my face was still intact. Um all day sweating every day in Ibiza and my face was still intact because of this primer. Like this primer I don't know, I think I saw it on Twitter and people was talking about it. Cause I had really oily skin and I was looking for a real primer. Like the Angel Well primer, I was using it for a while from NYX. But honey, you can't tell me nothing. You can't tell me nothing. So now I'm going to take this NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and this is in the shade Dark Cacao. And now I want to use this um, Prep and Prime Fix Plus. Fix Plus is not a setting spray, but it is a finishing mist. And I like to use it when I feel like my face looks very cakey and dry because it kind of brings the color back. So this one is lavender. I love this one a bit. Now I'm going to take this NYX uh, Electric Blue. Um, eyeliner and I'm just going to put that in my water line. So I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm just going to pretty much just pat around to like blend in the contour. Should do that first but it's okay, you don't do them in order. Ain't nobody tripping. This is Le Bronze from Artist Couture and Jackie Aina. And I love this, y'all. Like, I just, I can't get enough. I can't get enough. And it's just. And this is the finished look. 